Hey, for people who have followed my uh, media PC build, I thought I'd give an update on how things are going, um, how the system's configured, and uh, yeah, just a general impression of, of, how, of how, how it's working. Um, well, I mean, I've made a couple of changes to the media PC. I've put a Blu-ray player, uh, rewriter, Blu-ray, LG Blu-ray writer in here. So, uh, yeah, that's that's quite nice. Really, it's a, more of a data storage thing than than anything else, and just for ripping CDs. The other minor change that I've made to it is I've put um, a uh, creative uh, uh, XFI, to XFI titanium uh, sound uh, card in there. The reason for that is because I've actually put Windows 7 on that, and I'll come to that in a moment. Um, so, yeah, just to sort of zoom back on the system, it's sort of all stowed away in the corner there. Um, at the very bottom, what I've got is an Isolate uh, Mini Sub 2 mains conditioning system to uh, ensure that the, the, the uh, AC current coming in is nice and clean. Uh, the, the media PC there running completely silently. I'll just move the camera up close. No noise. So totally silently. The uh, Accord uh, uh, CPM2600 integrated amplifier. I have a Cord digital to analog converter here. So um, yeah, this is quite a pretty little thing. Uh, also, what's kind of important about this DAC is um, it's buffered. So you can see here, zero buffer, minimum and maximum. I have it on minimum, which is a, there's a two second delay. What's happening there is that the the, op the digital data that comes from the media PC is coming through an optical cable. It's a good quality one. It's a Wireworld Supernova optical cable. It's coming into here. And this DAC, when, it, when you use the buffer, uh, basically uh, takes the clock from the computer out of the signal. So it basically reclocks it internally, eliminating any, uh, any line jitter and any jitter associated with the uh, perhaps lower quality and noisy environment of the of the computer produces a very, very clean sound. So that's a very nice DAC. I've got some homemade uh, pure silver uh, cables uh, running a LITS configuration through to the amplifier uh, and then through to the through the through to the speakers, which are um, uh, BMW uh, 805S speakers. They're quite nice. The latest uh, edition, of, as I mentioned, is uh, Windows 7, so I've put a touchscreen monitor on there so uh, you know I can just uh, move this around and scroll through to uh, particular pieces of music that I might be interested in. Uh, and then, uh, you know, basically uh, double click and run a piece of music, so... Well, well, it works very well now, so I don't need to have a keyboard or a mouse or anything like that. Um, if I need to do a lot of keyboard work on it, by having Windows 7, I can use remote desktop sharing to bring that computer interface that you see there onto my laptop and sit in the chair and control media if I want to or reorganize the media library. Uh, obviously, for serious listening, I move the speakers out into a... Uh, are more, um, yeah, a couple of meters apart from each other, or two and a half meters apart. So that's that's a little bit better. But just you know, keeping things stowed away nicely there. In terms of the quality, yeah, it's 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 really really good. So I guess it proves that you can use a computer as part of your hi-fi system and not compromise on sound quality. And uh, I suppose with that, it brings me to the end of the the story of the media PC build. And um, I guess I can, uh, I can recommend building a PC, using a, a buffering DAC, using a decent amplifier, and uh, yeah, I mean this touchscreen monitor, of course, is a really nice, is a really nice thing as well to be able to, you know, control your, your media library with that. And with that, well, thank you very much for your attention. I, I hope it's been instructive, and it's been an awful lot of fun to do. <laughs> Cheers. Bye bye.